Hi everyone. Right. In the last lecture, we have seen what is meant by a port, what is meant by a system, terminals, and at last we have seen network functions. Okay. Right. Uh, then we have more to uh, different network functions, which are uh, driving point network functions and transfer network functions. What is the main difference between a driving point network functions and transfer functions? If you calculate the source and the response at the same port, then it will leads to a driving point network functions. Or else, if you calculate the source and response at different ports, then it will leads to transfer functions. Again, in transfer functions, we have seen voltage transfer function, current transfer function, impedance transfer function, admittance transfer function. Okay. So in this lecture, we are uh, dealing with the uh, applications of these network functions. Okay. What is the importance of this network function? Why we need to calculate all these things? Okay. Uh, uh, what is meant by stability of the system? All these things we are going to discuss in this uh, lecture. Okay, so uh, this is the application of this chapter. So listen properly, right? Then it will be uh, easy for you. Okay, right? So consider uh, we have calculated all these network functions and what are the, its importance. So consider I have given a system, right? I have given a system. What is the first thing you will consider while selecting a system? Right? What we will consider whether the output of that system you can control it or not. If you can't control the output of the signal, uh, uh, output of the system, is it necessary to use that uh, system? See, consider I am having a bread toaster. Okay, I am having a bread toaster. Right? What is the input I will give? Input signal what I will give? I will give a 230 volts AC supply. I will give. Or else, if it is working on a DC, I will give. Consider. Okay, consider I am giving a DC source to the bed toaster which will work on the DC supply. Okay, and I will uh, I will put my uh, breads to toast there. Okay, I will put my breads. Okay, then what should be the output? The output should be the, if the breads have to be toasted for some temperature itself. If the control, if I can't control the temperature of that breads uh, of that to toaster. Is it necessary? Is it useful to use that uh, bread toaster? No. Means the output of that uh, system, okay, the output of that uh, uh, system should be controlled, okay. It should be bounded. What is meant by a bounded system? Okay. Consider, consider. I'm having a, I'm having a system. I'm having a network which is having a transfer function, voltage transfer function as one by s. Okay, and to that system, I have given the input voltage. Okay, consider I am giving uh, a DC volts. I am I am having I am giving a five volts DC supply. Then what will be the output voltage I will get? Output voltage I what I will get? What we know? V output by V input equal to. Okay, what it will reach? It will reach to voltage transfer function. And uh, in the question itself, they had given the voltage transfer function as one by S. Then what will be the output voltage I will get? Output voltage equal to V i by S, which is equal to phi by S. And if I write it in a time domain, what I will get? Phi into U of T. Means what will be the output voltage I will get? I will I will get the output voltage as phi volts. Consider the same example. The input I am giving phi volts itself. Okay, phi volts itself. And to this, I am giving now my system network. I have changed it to S square. Then what will be the output voltage I will get now? Output voltage equal to V input divided into voltage transfer function, which will be equal to sorry, 1 by S square. So which will be equal to 5 by S square. If I change it to time domain, what I will get? What is the inverse Laplace transform of 5, 1 by S square? It will be phi into T. Means, if I draw the if I draw the voltage versus time, then what I will get? I will get a signal which is having a slope of phi volt uh, phi, and at infinity time, what will be the voltage I am going to get? I am going to get infinity volts. Means here. The signal is a not a bounded signal. I can't control my output voltage by using this system. Okay. What is the important criteria while selecting a system? The output, I have to control it. The output must be stable. If the system is not stable, then can I use that system properly? No. 
there is no use uh, of that uh, system means the system should be a stable system okay here the system is a uh, here it is an unstable system means the output of that system i can't control it okay i can't control my output signal properly okay here the output i can control means at any instant of time from minus infinity to infinity the output here the output signal it is a bounded signal means bounded means it is lying between 0 to infinity where i can measure that voltage or current or anything okay uh, whether you are taking the criteria okay you are taking the voltage as a parameter or current as a param output parameter the signal is a bounded signal i can i can measure that output i can control that output then the system is known as a bounded system uh, that's a sig uh, system is known as a uh, stable system and uh, if the output if you can't control it if it is a not a bounded signal output uh, is a not a bounded signal then the the system is known as a unstable system okay unstable system consider i'm having consider i'm having uh, if i uh, see uh, the input will be the bounded signals only right but the output uh, depending upon the system the output may be a bounded or unbounded okay bounded or unbounded so here the output depends upon the sorry in the first lecture itself we have uh, seen the output signal is the function of the system what you have placed right here if you, if you are considering these two example right you may get the bounded signal or unbounded signal so the first system is known as a stable system the second system is known as an unstable system so from where you are saying whether it is a stable system or an unstable system by considering the network function by considering the transfer function you can say whether the system whether you can use that system to get the bounded signal or unbounded signal you can uh, you can act okay you can uh, you can say whether it is a stable system or unstable system that is the importance of the network function have you understood clearly the network function whether the system criteria stability criteria can you can say by using the network functions by using the network functions you can say the stability criteria of the system so it is important uh, it is necessary to calculate the network functions uh, whether you can use the, the system see the input you will change from 5 volts you may change it to fine sine omega t or you can you can change it to phi into s okay right you can change any uh, into any signal but whether you are going to get the output uh, is uh, whether you are going to get a stable output or not uh, by you considering the same uh, stability of the system you ha you can say it right this is the, that is the important of the stability uh, network functions okay the system uh, criteria stability criteria can say by using the network functions okay so see now what is meant by a stable system Okay, it have to satisfy the BIVO uh, criteria. What is meant by BIVO criteria? For a stable, okay, for the stable uh, system, the output should be bounded for for bounded input every at every input uh, at every each and every instant of time. Means if you give a bounded signal, consider what are the bounded signal? Um, I can write it as phi. Okay, see, phi into t is not a bounded signal here means here the signal is it bounded at infinity time whether the voltage or current uh, whether you are getting the bounded signal whether you can calculate the uh, signal magnitude no at infinity time you are going to get a uh, phi into infinity amperes okay which is not a bounded signal means what are the examples of a bounded signal you can write it as uh, five volts okay right the signal what we are using daily 230 okay 230 volts rms means what we will get the maximum uh, in the function value what we can write 230 root to sine omega t means sine also a bounded signal means if you consider a sine signal right so where the, uh, the voltage will change is if the maximum value of 230 into root 2 right here okay means the output uh, uh, sorry the signal magnitude is uh, raising from uh, two, uh, minus uh, 230 to root 2 to 230 into root 2 means it is also a bounded signal right cos t if you are having a signal of cos t it is also bounded signal because the values will change to minus uh, 1 to 1 even for a infinity time also the value will uh, 
will be between minus 1 to 1 but uh, tan t tan t is not a uh, bounded signal because at a tan 90 how much you are getting you are going to get a infinity so it is not a bounded signal so if you give a bounded signal bounded input uh, to a system if it produce okay system if it produce a bounded output then the system is known as a stable system then the system is known as a stable system for every bounded input signal if the system produce a bounded output then the system is known as a stable system then how that stability of the system is linked with our network functions we are going to discuss in this lecture have you understood okay that is the importance of the system stability and what is the link between what is the relation between the system stability and the network function we are going to discuss in this lecture.